anybody ever tell you it's rude to leave before the cake's cut? Oh, hey, perfect timing. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? We're back. Hopefully, hopefully for the duration tonight. <clears throat> I'm still recovering from strep throat. And I'm also actually still recovering from being sick last week. Do you hear me coughing? That's where that is coming from. So, <clears throat> I've been eating the, the lozenges. Not eating, but sucking on the lozenges like candy. Keep the sore throat and stuff <clears throat> beat down as much as I can. So you'll probably be making liberal use of the cough button, if you will, the mic button. <coughs> tonight and the next few nights anyway. So yeah, we're going to start uh, close to the sun tonight. I've had this for a while. Um, this is off of the Epic Game Store. I got it for like $15 a, a while back. I don't know what the current price is. I think it's probably at least twice that, at least the last time I looked. It's uh, bio, a little Bioshocky in the uh, in the aesthetic. Um, it is a sort of or a hor horror type game where you're in an alternate reality in like 1897, I think it is, where uh, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison are like the prominent scientists of the day, as it were, competing for scientific prowess <clears throat> in the world of that alternate reality. So, we shall get started. I went through um, yesterday and adjusted settings. This is another one of those games that doesn't have the best controller support like in the menus. Uh, for example, in menus like this, a lot of games you can use your D-pad to navigate between the menu options. Not here, you gotta use the stick. Got to use the left stick to do that. So, but yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I went through and adjusted the volumes and stuff. So, 
these let me know if those needed to be adjusted and everything is on the highest resolution and visual quality. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope your Friday is going well so far. Department of Security monitors all personnel aboard the Helios protected from sabotage. There is circumstantial evidence. Okay. I forget the name of the character that you play. I do have an about command as well for this one too. I did it for Sea of Solitude. Did it for this one too. Ada is supposed to be the main character's sister. <clears throat> Prologue, the brilliance of Ada. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. Okay, so she sent her that you. device. Your sister, Ada. All right. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios. What aren't you telling me? <laughs> leave your room. Eighth wonder of the world, a triumph <clears throat> of engineering for the advancement of science. Join the Helios crew. Apply at your local Warden Cliff office. Okay. Hit a button to read. Both we'll seem to be a little, a little touchy. Adjust the settings a little bit. Nope. Let's do two. Yeah. That seems to work. We can always adjust it later <clears throat> as we go. Docking works better than these automated announcements. La Petite Parisienne. That's just the headlines, I guess. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios alleged kidnapping of a prominent British mathematician. That's the world on edge. And him over, says the Prime Minister. Warden Cliff denies wrongdoing claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. The international group of diplomats <clears throat> rallied to calm rising tensions. Okay, eighth winner of the world once again, conquering new scientific frontiers under the guidance of Nikola Tesla himself. Invent and innovate without artific artificial limitations of capital or policies. <clears throat> this is red, so we're going to go that way. The other one was green.
Helios Grand Theater. The best entertainment to stimulate the best minds. I gotta follow, I gotta follow, I gotta follow. Shadow Key Cats. Get the camera. Thank you for the follow. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I did not, let me know. Did the alert come across? I didn't see it out of the corner of my eye. Hello, welcome. Happy Friday to you. Did I pronounce that correctly? Is that is it Key Cat? Right, so I can go that way. Not through that door. Okay. Okay, let's go down here. This is probably the other side of the door that we couldn't go out from the inside. <clears throat> First one to get it right. Key cat. Nice. What do I win? What do I win? Do I win a prize? Warden Cliff takes no responsibility for personal injuries sustained prior to, during, or after doctor. Okay. I guess that's it. Good night. See you later. So why am I the only person on this ship with no discernible other people at all? Fabrizio. credits, so these are pretty cool. <clears throat> Jets. I'm manipulating time to extract electricity, exotic energy. Research into it has proven elusive as it refuses to interact. Why do they put those up there if you don't have time to read them? 
Chapter 1. The Border of Hermes. side of the ship. Looks like a port. I thought the great Helios would be more busy. Yeah, I guess you. Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. Ooh, well, she can jump. <laughs> All right. Okay, squeezing the trigger. Make her run. <clears throat> The Helios, a scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. might you be, sir? Seems like I'll have to let myself in. Well, hey, you dock the ship by yourself. Why not? <clears throat> Who is this? The ship rat. Profile. Active spy. Isol Whoa. Isolate and eliminate? Eric... September 1890, Catherine June of 1896, Tom, January of 18. 
77. did it! We got the celebratory music. <clears throat> Oops. Distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. Oh, really? Is that not working again? Hold on. <clears throat> Let me check that. Oh, it's it's did it. Why did I do we did it? That's weird. change that. <clears throat> I'll try it again in about five minutes and see. Sets if you rename the command. <clears throat> Let me. Okay, that uses the. Alright, the Stream Deck uses the. <clears throat> uses the sound file directly, so I don't have to change anything there. Okay, so this is the directory, obviously. <coughs> Tesla-torium 24. All right, so we are here, I guess. We're 60. But we have no idea where. Ada is supposed to be. Casino, security area. What have you got yourself into, Ada? Uh-oh. <laughs> Great. Mess. Chip's alive. Okay, everything is 
a big mess. Pretty documentation for obligatory security check. Passport, Nicholas Ford, mail, date of birth, England, city of departure, York, actor, visit for 21 days, Gordon Cliff, guest, 7th of August, 1997. <clears throat> get anybody <laughs> override. Hmm. We're getting there. Well, I guess I'll have to disable it. There's a green light down there. One inside there. <clears throat> He's going to lock me in with the monster. <laughs> this is Nikola Tesla speaking. And unless it wasn't already obvious, this ship is under strict warranty. There is to be no movement on or off the Helios. And yet, here you are. Another one of Edison's spies. 
Peterson. Gee, thanks for the warm welcome. Now what have you done with my sister? Loose lips could sink our ship. While vapor incoming threat. Known aliases. Matthias Ellis, Simon Ad Alder, Alder, Ernest Hemson. <clears throat> okay, one more to go. Here, what you do here when you leave here, let it stay here. Is this Vegas? Nice person. Let's look around in here first. There. Or up. Automatic messages. Like in uh, control, right? Oh, mail tubes. Helios IT up internal tube system. Please contact the information security division if you have received reports, data sheets, or any other form of information that could compromise the scientific integrity of experiments or security of the Helios and its crew. Remember, sensitive information is not allowed to be tubed. Don't worry. Her research holds the key to everything. <gasps> Eat up. Cryptic. Who was this message for? Division OHM <coughs> District is misspelled. District report FA 024 The interrogation of researcher Becker. Immediate effect on the amount of cross department chatter that contained sensitive information. Unfortunately, it also made the suspect Ed Edison, is what he pronounced it as, speak go silent. We are therefore no further along in our investigation over exactly what material has been compromised. Hereby requesting that a more hands on approach be taken in order to assure the continued security of the Helios. Cannot afford another grand scale sabotage. Once is enough. I am aware of how uncomfortable Mr. T is with these less sophisticated measures, but doing it the old fashioned way is sometimes an option. Information Officer Strutman. So some kind of sabotage has happened. Don't know how long ago. Who did it or whether it was one of the spies or the incoming threat I mentioned earlier. <coughs> Edison denies espionage allegations. Accusations are merely circumstantial. Claims Edison preparations for a countersuit on its way. <clears throat> Warden Cliff declines to comment. Best lot absent. Oh, excuse me, as preliminary hearings commence into accusations of Edison espionage. French climatologist Jean Villepreu seen boarding shuttle vessel to the Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Sounds like Atlas shrugged. Sabotage attempt averted as Helios shuttle avoids ramming. <laughs> All right, 
Let's go up. Hold on a second. Take a look and see. It may just be this one hallway, and that's all we're supposed to have access to. Twelve interrogation. Six just sent a tube that corroborates the dates and places. He's in Edith's spy, all right. Your gut instincts were right again. It's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him off, tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. This is definitely a West West situation. Feel free to get creative, Security Officer De Rossi. Nikola Tesla recruits British intelligence officer overseas. Information security of North Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Sabotage attempt averted <clears throat> as Helios shuttle avoids ramming. Blood. Mask. of some kind, looks like. Oh, puzzle time! Let's see what this is first. Some kind of playing card or another... Passport. <clears throat> Wardenclyffe Passport. Sylvia Bishop, female, July 8, 1860, England. City of departure, London, August 13, 1897. Date of departure, purpose of visit, art exhibition. Length of visit, seven days. Ah! Yummy. looking to see if there's something <clears throat> obvious on a wall or something that tells us what direction these things are supposed to be pointing in. <clears throat> Let's go with up and down first. Whoa, hello. This is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Torture tools. Alright, can't take anything. I don't know if there's any combat in this or not. Kid. David Bishop. Hey, wasn't the woman's name Bishop? Sex male, date of birth, 1890. In London. 
company to minor. <clears throat> Seven days. Son. <clears throat> newspaper. Tesla's death ray to make war impossible. Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with the threat of immeasurable damage. This newly announced weaponry is about to go up for auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship-mounted weaponry could annihilate an entire fleet. Oh wow, you can almost read all of that. thing. <clears throat> Little green. Oh. How do I get over to the other side? That's the question. Restroom out of order. Use the ladies' room. <laughs> Keep it clean. Money, I am the devil. <clears throat> Room with nothing stored in it of use of to us.
First report, Portugal and Spain. Second report in France. Third in Iceland. Fourth in Prussia. Agent missing in Turkey. <clears throat> Somewhere around there. Passport. Jung Hwan Choi, male April 13th, 1843, from Korea, Seoul. 5th, 1897, purpose of visit researcher. Link the visit. Link the spelled wrong. <coughs> Indefinite. <clears throat> I didn't notice if the other ones were like that, too. Let's find out. <laughs> it's a typo. It's a typo in the passports. Well, at least they... They're going to be consistent with it. By connections, involved people, Tom, Kate, John. <clears throat> All the documents are available privately. On Brussels. England, sure. Eric, Kate. Bishop group. Andre Ledzenko functioned as messenger to sleeper agent aboard the Helios. Further interrogation required still refuses to give up name of target agent. Eric Tom Catherine. Plus 221 Baker Street. Excuse me. It's like Sherlock Holmes. St. Paul's Cathedral, Rome. Use that dead drop location. I see there's that same... That same document. I'll see. Petit Parisien. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios alleged kidnapping of prominent British mathematician as the Royal Edge. You've already read that. Hand him over, says the Prime Minister. Warden Cliff denies wrongdoing claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. International group of diplomats rally to calm rising tensions. Confirmed Edison agents? Seems like their rivalry is alive and well. Also like Cuba. Okay. Helios Admittance Division. Incident report KA-812. In accordance to procedure protocol A-12, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. <clears throat> when the guest did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, and neither was any of the issued Wardenclyffe paperwork or issued clothing. Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of, the, of this dent <clears throat> when the vessel left Sydney, so it is possible the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to Helios. This is the 11th incident of similar nature this year alone. 
The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Wardenclyffe uniforms that are regularly lost could provide Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet, I have yet to receive any reassurance that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from occurring. Security Officer De Rossi. Surely, it is not going to be the same as the one before. Okay. You can always do the brute force, which is what we were doing the first time. of a puzzle if you can brute force it in about 15 seconds. <coughs> a passport. Ananya Patel, female, May 28, 1850, from India, Florida from Bombay, Archer, July 1st, 1897, lab technician, indefinite, so kind of employee, like the other dude. Profile armless. Suspected sleeper agent find confirming or eliminating evidence. That should do it. Now to find Ada. in danger run those who have tried chapter two the fire of prometheus Teslatorium. 28 is the sweets. 5 is the armpits. To find that other room that we were above before. If it's even important. letter right here that that doesn't make any sense uh -oh. i didn't write you any letter rose but but never mind there's been an accident or sabotage it, it doesn't matter we need to get off this ship that's what the quarantine is about ada what the hell is going on rose listen very carefully we really need to leave it's spreading all ada ada Maybe I can get a better 
her signal with the same soar up ahead. <laughs> you ring the bell. Anybody get a gum? sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house. <clears throat> a nut job? on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Radio waves 
aren't just great for transmitting sound, images, and energy across large distances, but with this radio-controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you are here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels, controlled automatically via radio signals. <clears throat> Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So, all's well. Yeah, let me step out of the way. <laughs> Press the button on this one. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war once and for all. My dear Death Ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this, none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. It's the scale. How big is it? Wake machine. Okay. Tesla Tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across <clears> the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race, its gluttony for more, more, and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, and that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. Let's see, before we go there, go back and see at least what this room looks like. Alright, doesn't look like it leads anywhere, so <clears throat> around in here first. Helio sails under its own banner. Testament to me is what all this is. Advancing humanity one industry at a time. From military to medical, from shipping to production. Helios continues to animate. Reciprocating engine.
creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? Birds. Real birds. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Move along. What the? Oh, um, we got a host. Daisy. Thank you for the host. Yes, the uh, notification did come across. Thank you very much. Hello? Welcome, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's Anyone? it going? Uh oh. Okay. What the hell was that? Happy Friday to you. Have you been? Uh oh. Oh, that's some shit about to get real. Rose? Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Yeah, I know. Not Time travel. Me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not it safe is. here, Rose. It is it's indeed. spreading throughout the ship. <clears throat> I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe, get key card, use elevator, meet in your apartment. I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. If she's from the future, she should know that. <laughs> An engraving on the inside. Reads, <clears throat> weather tech, anonymity mask. Return to Warden Cliff representative. But yes, this is a uh, this is a horror game. I don't know how horror it is. Three sub Alien King, thank you. One year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Friday indeed. How is your Friday? How's the weekend so far? We're just taking our time looking around. I mean, there's no no urgency to anything yet. have some names to some of these now. Alexandrina Victoria. Is that is that Queen Victoria? Oh. Googly Guglielmo Marconi. Is that Edison? Oh Henry Ford. Robert Bosch. Wayne. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I've been sick for two weeks. <clears throat> Another mask. This one's different than the other one. 
New collectible picked. Okay. Yeah, last week it was the cold. I still have the congestion and the cough from. <clears throat> but. I had strep throat. Since Monday. First time I've had strep throat, and if you've never had it, you don't want it. Because it really sucks. It's the same one we picked up before. Yeah, it looks like. One of my friends at work was telling me, I mean, two friends were telling me that they've had it many times over their life. Giuseppe Verdi. JP Morgan. One of them was also telling me that Marie Curie. Not Rockefeller. He's telling me that one of his one of his bouts with it, it got so bad that <clears throat> he was crawled up in a ball on the floor coughing up blood. <clears throat> hey, another mask. Breathing on the mask. Inside reads ship security anonymity mask returned to Morton Cliff representatives. Mine did never mine never got to the point where I was coughing up any blood or anything, but the weirdest thing about mine, I guess hey, there's another one of those green symbols. Um I guess because my tonsils or whatever were swollen. It just felt like when I swallowed, something was just loose in my throat, constantly. And that's actually what caused... I actually went to the emergency room because I didn't know what it was. Right? Because every time I swallowed, it felt like something was loose. Did something come off of my body? So, you know, it's like <clears throat> 11.30 Wednesday night. This was the night that I streamed the end of... Of solitude, going to bed, and about 11:30, woke up with this sensation, and I'm like, "Oh man, this cannot be right." So I went to the hospital, the emergency room. Was there until 6:30 the next morning. I got the shot, whatever the. Bacterial or whatever it was that gave me. They didn't give it to me until 6. And then I had to wait around for 15 minutes to make sure there were not going to be any adverse, adverse effects from that. So. Got the wall safe. <laughs> Don't write your password down, Eric! Remember to write down the new safe code when you change it. Margaret had to come all the way from the tech labs just to reset the safe mechanism last week. He wasn't pleased. Don't mess up again. Current code 142. Oh, that must be the safe. Now to get it open. Oh, great. One of those. Come on. Ah. Oh, not so bad. See, I didn't have a fever. That was... That was the weird thing about it. All I had from my strep was the sore throat and that feeling in my throat. And a, oh my god, it's like the worst headache I've ever had. It wasn't a migraine. It was just... Just monster headache would not go away. 
That's why I'm sitting there in the emergency room in the waiting area. Apparently they had gotten slammed. They said I overheard them talking at one point. They had had seven emergency helicopter visits that night. <clears throat> um, but finally about five o'clock, you know, they finally got my inf insurance information and all that stuff. And I said, can I please get something for this headache? And they were going to give me, you know, the horse pills, some ibuprofen, not, yeah, ibuprofen. And I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to swallow that. Honestly, I don't. Um, so she said, okay, well, we'll give you some liquid. And she came back after a few minutes with what looked like about six or seven tiny little coffee creamer, little containers that had liquid ibuprofen in it. She dumped them all in this little cup and had me drink that. 30 minutes later, headache was gone. Just gone. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. But then it came back later once that wore off. And then she gave me, <coughs> doctor gave me a bottle of like 2,800 milligram ibuprofen uh, tablets to take when I needed them. And I'm also supposed, she gave me a 100 milliliter bottle of, crap, what is it? It's supposed to, no, no refills. Um, lidocaine. Yeah, lidocaine that I'm supposed to, that I was supposed to gargle five milliliters of that every three hours. But I have a really bad gag reflex. I can't gargle anything. Nothing. I mean, I tried, but, you know, I, I got the little injector, filled it up with five milliliters and injected it into my mouth and tried to gargle it. Nope. So what I wound up doing is getting some of this. It's a chloroseptic throat spray. <clears throat> Probably not as good as the lidocaine, but it will have to do. But I, I've only used it once or twice anyway, so it hasn't. It hasn't been that bad, so I guess in that respect I've been kind of lucky. It wasn't really, from what I've heard from other people, it doesn't sound like it's been that bad of a case of strep throat, so. I see with my friend at work saying that he, he was coughing up blood. Gotten so bad for him. Newspaper. Daily graphic. Mathematician Elmira Sanger, now part of the Wardcliff Corporation, mankind's best. Other aboard Helios. New breakthrough in dimensional physics. Universities united in protest after Wardenclyffe attracts yet another scientist from the ranks. Oh, and one other thing that I had was swollen. Swollen on this side of my throat. Noticeable. Physically noticeable. Um, but that's, that's all gone now, so. the key card. Key card in the I don't know. I mean, not that it matters anyway. This, <coughs> for those of you that were not here at the beginning of the stream, I got this uh, from the Epic Game Store on PC. I don't know if these versions have achievements in them. I know Epic is planning to add achievements to their store. So it's not as pressing, I guess you want to call it that, a thing. Try and get them all, so that's one good thing about, about it. I'll try to get as much of that stuff as I can, because it's like backstory and stuff like that too, right? And engraving on the inside reads, Biolabs Anonymity Mask. 
Sanitary. That makes me wonder. About all of them except one makes me wonder if there's another one in here. Interesting that you don't see anything on the little strip of... I assume that's gold. Maybe it's not a reflective one. Jam, Volta, Newton, Maxwell, Garwan, Brahi, Faraday. Uh oh, bloody hand. And what that sound was. It's almost sounds like a Geiger counter. All right. Hope this works. Archer, younger sister to Rose Archer and a brilliant theoretical physicist. Her research aboard the Helios proved the one electron theory, opening the door to free and limitless energy. Hey, I was able to read all of that one. <laughs> when in danger, run! that smell dead people seventh annual helios masquerade ball as is tradition aboard the helios we will hold an annual ball to welcome arrivals Get your season ticket to the Helios Grand Theater. Attack your assigned recreation officer for season programs and prices. Yep, moving slowly, I assume, towards the back of the ship. and five pieces of paper. No, or five notes. Similar? Whoa, hello. 
the dead people. Doesn't. One leaf in. Georgia peach flavored coke. One oh my out. god, really? I didn't even know there One was such in. a thing. One thorn out. One leaf in. You must send me a picture of this. One thorn out. There you go. Good. Time Good. is not a river. It's a glass They've been form only. Butchered, Ada. Who or what did this? We don't we don't know yet, but right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. What about all the dead people? They're in pieces. Those of you that don't know, speaking of Coke, World Headquarters is here. <clears throat> they have a museum here as well, where you can, after you go through the tour, through the museum, if you will, there's a bunch of stations in a big open area where they have, oh, like, dispensers. You can dispense flavors of Coca-Cola drinks. So, you know, some fruit drinks, you know, energy drinks, that kind of stuff. Soft drinks from around the world. Some of them are actually pretty good, and some of them are nasty. Oh, there was an apple-flavored one that was really good. The Watcher newspaper, newly opened Wardenclyffe Corporation in South America, reignites tensions. Edison threatens to resume legal actions against Wardenclyffe expansion. Hmm, excuse me, international court complications could delay power grid growth. Those look like some trees in the middle there. figured out 
what, if any, importance there is to those. District laundry schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Operations only on Saturday closed. <clears throat> Midnight lights out. No debates past midnight. Arguing over the limitations of Fourier transformations can wait. No need to bother the rest of the district. Keep your lively debates and discussions to their designated halls and hours. Continued disturbances will be reported to the Department of Security as is protocol. listed here. Biology, physics, weather, biology. Are these visions from the past? Must be it. Let's see about getting some lights on in here. Make sure that the active line light is green. If needed, use the line control buttons to cycle between power lines. Active light is green, you can move to step two. Flip the switch. All hell's gonna break loose. I know it. Yes. Okay. Now to find where Ada's apartment is. Okay. We'll go over here first. Before we go down there. That open. by where that green symbol was. We can get down there now. No, the door's busted. Maybe we can get to it. 
<clears throat> going this way. Ada! Ugh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Who is this? If you've harmed my sister, I swear to God I will break oh, every hey, bone. Hey, hey. I haven't harmed anyone, all right? My name's Aubrey, and it's really, really nice to finally talk to someone who isn't decomposing, you know? Uh... Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm holed up in the engine halls, starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? Look, buddy, I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing, but if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds great. No, Benny here in the corner died during the exotic energy leak, but he still has most of his spine intact. Most. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need oh, asks dude. for help, <clears throat> you will have enough of a backbone to actually do something. Ah. What the Glass. hell was all that about? <laughs> exotic energy? First ever art exhibition aboard the Helios. The personal trainer of Nikola Tesla is presenting a collection of his work aboard the Helios exhibition is free of charge. The three opera singers together. Helios. Boy, it looks like more of a mess. Oh, more mail tubes. ITS internal tube system from Maxwell District to Faraday District. Message contents. <clears throat> Is anyone still in Faraday? We need help. We're trapped in Maxwell with a severe exo leak. We've failed, I guess, to close it off, but it. I don't know what that is. It just keeps spreading. <clears throat> Some use, some are hallucinating shapes in the exo cloud, and it's just putting everyone on edge. Haven't heard from sec dev, so quarantine protocol is still active. People are considering making a break for the roll tunnels. Oh, we've tried to close it off. Just keep spreading. Okay, gotcha. Whomever is repeatedly stealing the toilet paper deliveries, hope you die of rectal hemorrhaging. Ow! A toilet paper thief. Jeez. Cute. Laundry schedule again. Let's see, that's where the symbol was. Top of the stairs. I 
Start a circle must be broken. Circle must be broken. Steinitz. Chess. Ada used to be great at it. Key card. Ada Archer. I still love you, Wilhelm. Oh, hey. Apparently Ada is pretty good at chess. Nineteen wins, zero losses. Newspaper? Watcher. Spain withholds supply shipments. Shipment to the Helios invention dispute escalates as negotiations come to an abrupt halt. International exhibition in Brussels opened boring crowds. Edison announces <coughs> new infrastructure investments all across Southeast Asia. Oh, by the way, um, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. There is an about command that I did update. It gives you a brief synopsis of the game. of that you could put our probably have figured out by now. Alright, so we can go up there. Alright. Go up yet. Shakespeare, the Merchant of Venice. are. Oh, here we go. Player one, Eliza Fairfield. Player two, Isabel Silva. Winner, Isabel, or Eliza, 91-67. Shuffle board Sunday. Thank you. 
Wind Suite. Faraday. Fire Suite, okay. Happy birthday! Hmm. Happy birthday. We have cake? Where's the cake? Whoops. Sorry. Just set off all the alarms. They're coming after us. <clears throat> always, always, always! Believe in yourself, because if you don't, then who will, sweetie? <laughs> Photo of someone's wife. Albert Einstein, a rather young-looking Albert Einstein, I might add. <clears throat> Sex male, date of birth, March 14, 1879, in Germany. City of departure, Berna. Date of departure, February 28, 1897. Purpose of visit, researcher. Length of visit, indefinite. Kindest helio personnel. Realize that this probably isn't very proper. However, after a very illuminating conversation with lead researcher Archer, I must return to the mainland to pursue an idea. <clears throat> As fellow scientists, I'm sure you understand the desire to chase these rare moments of inspiration. If need be, chalk my hasty escape up to overly eager youth. I thank all of you for your hospitality during my brief yet very productive stay. Bunka! Albert. Emergency generator use prohibited without official order approval. Activation and deactivation codes provided weekly to on duty officers in the Epsilon Corps. 18-year-old who visited last week left his belongings in the wind. Yes, sweet. Could you get in touch with our German Wardcliffe office in order to arrange the return shipping of his things? Thanks, Marta. Postscript. We've received 
a special request for a piano to be brought to Earth Suite in maintenance to help out with transportation from the docks. DS. I didn't know if she would go into some kind of automatic shimmying thing or what. Hey, there's a toilet paper thief. check to see what you have one was fire and fire and ice was it fire and water Happening, man. This isn't happening. I'm gonna see if the uh, has anything on it. 
Kitchen, cargo, M. Panoramic view. <clears throat> I don't see. But of course, Wilhelm Steinritz. Steinitz. His room is in there, but we can't go in there because of the electricity. We turn it off. Okay, let's try and follow this. It goes. about as far as we can go in either direction too because that's where we have to fall down to the floor.
try the generator room again. After we try that, we'll uh, take a break. Three, three, two, one, two, right? This doesn't work, I have absolutely no clue. somewhere that we can use that code. Take the ladder. Okay. Prosper family photo. Aaron Prosper and his wife Marie, and sons Humphrey and Benjamin. Hey, Dad. This is the photo we took before you went aboard. <clears throat> We're looking forward to the new story to new stories on your return. Mom says hello. I'm free. Okay, that's it. Order. <coughs> it's not fair. We, the biology department, come back with clothes either covered in blood or dirt. While the worst the physics department ever gets is some light chalk stains from writing elegant equations all day. We need at least two laundry days to get blood stains out. Fix this. 
then at least we've got new stuff. sense. Deal. Deal. <coughs> nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ada Archer. Archer Ada. Aha. Out the quarter. Now I just need to find a way inside. I didn't find that <laughs> in all the other places that we've looked. All right, fine. I'll take a break here. <coughs> so I can get rid of some of that water that I've been drinking and get up and move around and stretch my legs. So, yeah, looks like we've got... Three tunes, about 12 minutes, so give me a chance to do all that stuff. We'll come back, and we'll see if we can get into I Ada's apartment. Absolutely! I'll be back. Sit tight.
Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was trying to find where I can get that. Uh, Purple Bacon was mentioning that peach flavored Coke. Trying to see where I can get that in my area. Plus, they have a uh, California Raspberry Coke also. And I <clears throat> for those of you that have seen the Freak the Coke freestyle machines in like restaurants and theaters and stuff. I love the raspberry Coke mix that you can make in those. So I'm going to go try and find those tomorrow. <coughs> when I'm out doing whatever other errands that I'm going to have. Okay. Let's see if we can find out how to get into Ada's apartment. Need a key card. God, we've been over this place like a with a fine tooth comb already. I don't know where it would be. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we were all we can. Who are you talking to? Ada. Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not Ada, what now you... is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen, we discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory, meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So naturally, we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada, well, Ada, that's... Ada, 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 stop. <laughs> Shut it's up. me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. <sighs> all of us. We've tried to contain it all, but... The point is, we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the Alpha Quarter is locked. I can't get in. Don't suppose you keep a spare keycard somewhere. Shit. No, wait! Yes, I do! <clears throat> my friend Eliza has a pair. God, I, I hope she's okay. She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Yep. Gamma? Mm. <coughs> then her entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon Guest Quarter. Easy peasy. Right. I'll get the override Damn code it. and disable the generator. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer. I was there already. Gated by the story. Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <coughs> three, three. Two, one, two, was it? I probably should have written it down. Yep, three, three, two, one, two. Even though it's not much faster than walking, at least, at least the running does speed it up a little. say was it kind of I was beginning to wonder as she was talking about different time or different dimensions or whatever if I was going to have to use that code in a different time period in the same room
turn it off. Back of generator room. it was that other that other room over there that the wires were leading into we couldn't get in the door wouldn't open oi 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 with a screwdriver. Let's see. Three. Three. Two. One. Okay. <clears throat> we had it all figured out already, man. Tomb Raider squeeze. A plus T. Already. Hey, Mr. Steinitz.
was the... Oh, really? Rigged! of little key card thing. Why is it steamy? There's nothing in here. I ask you, my friends, what was the point of having me get that key card if there's nothing in here? <clears throat> oh well. El Monte. A Patel. I think that was one of the passports that we found. Car to Eliza Fairfield's apartment. It appears to be left outside her door deliberately. <clears throat> and Mr. King. There's another one. Gonna find anything in here? Aubrey King. Can't be that many Aubreys on board, could there? Easy electric rain device, electricity generation, storage capacity, maintenance required. Installed in location three, starboard, bow and aft, bow, sorry, port bow deck. Paper. New Wardenclyffe weather breakthrough. Rain to provide the Helios with electricity. <clears throat> Lead researcher Aubrey King innovates with a new solution for electricity generation aboard the Helios. Edison and General Electric, excuse me, continues rapid expansion across southern Asia. Same thing. What's going on? No, I think it's supposed to be uh, uh, Nikola Tesla. Dear Professor King, this letter is to inform you that effective May 2nd, 1887, you are being demoted from lead researcher of the Weather Tech Department to coordinator of Maintenance Division. Not having reached sufficient results in the exploitation of the resources granted by Wardenclyffe Corporation, <clears throat> the company believe, believe, long-standing knowledge of the Helios will be of better use, ensuring the functioning of the areas designated for the conversion of the new energy sources to mechanical propulsion for the ship. You have, been, you have the right to appeal this demotion under the Wardenclyffe Grievance Policy. If you have <clears throat> questions about your appeal right, meet Linda Kaczynski, Director of Employee Relation. Sincerely, J.C. Sacristani. Human resources. Now these pictures are uh, these are Nikola Tesla. <coughs> Although it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, roaches! Yummy! It wouldn't surprise me if there were some Easter eggs in here. Bioshock. This it definitely has that Bioshock vibe. From the 
cosmetics. <coughs> okay. We heard these guys fighting in there, which is in this room, but do we have a key? Not. Alright, let's check our room now. Good at to shuffle boards. We know what you did. Do what we say, as we say, when we say, or we will make sure your days aboard the Helios are over. It's like blackmail. We will be in touch. Helios is the only place where I truly belonged. This ship accepted me for being me. I cannot put into words what it is like to suffer through life without finding acceptance or kinship. Here aboard the Helios, <clears throat> not only did I find kinship, I found friendship. I found family. And now I've destroyed the only family I've ever known. I'm alone. Again. I was never meant to end up here, yet here I am, rope in hand with judgment at my door. I thought the barricade could hold them off, at least for a time. So naive of me. <clears throat> Their clouds came through unkindered, unhindered, sorry, followed by the screams of my friends. I'm the only one left, alone, again. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. It was just supposed to delay the test. <clears throat> just a delay, that was all. Delay in exchange for their silence so that I could remain aboard with my friends. Not that it matters in the end, my guilt won't go away, and so the solution won't change. If you can forgive me, <clears throat> I thank you with all my heart. If you can't, I understand, and I share your verdict. I am alone again, and it's all my fault. Eliza.
please work. Yes! We did it! <clears throat> Who are you? Checkpoint. me so many answers. Another picture, a different family looks like. Miller family photo. Thomas Miller with wife Agnes and daughter Elizabeth. Please hurry back. We'll miss you so <clears throat> much. Sir, welcome everybody from the Bressier. <coughs> womp womp. Welcome raiders. I am the Iceman Cometh. I am still sick, but good enough to stream. Trody, how's it going? Thank you, thank you guys for coming. We are playing close to the sun. Um, let me drop the about in chat for those of you that are not familiar with the game. <coughs> That is a kind of a brief, brief description of the game. It has a very, it's a horror game. It does have some jump scares as Misbehave just found out. <laughs> <coughs> very Bioshocky feel to it as well. Okay, Anne, we waited as long as we could for you, but it's not safe anymore. We've locked everything and moving out with some people from Sigma and Delta. Meet us in the garden as soon as you can. Don't wait. Just go. Thomas, don't fly ducks. What's going on? Hello. Welcome, guys. Oh, there's Ada's room. Woohoo. Yes, Bioshock is one of my favorites as well. Giacco. Some of us here actually prefer to sleep during the night. I'm not saying you should stop sneaking your lady friend into your apartment. But for the love of all things holy, please soundproof your room. Uh-oh! Your sleepless neighbors! <coughs> uh, going well. Uh, overall, we've got a little over an hour left in the stream for the night. Still. I got the double whammy. Um, last Monday, I got sick with a bad cold, and I was almost over that. And on Monday... This week, I got strep throat. So, yeah. This last two weeks has been kind of sucky. Uh, I haven't lost my voice, but... I think they've pretty much taken care of the uh, strep throat. As I was mentioning before, it's the first time I've ever had it. I've never had strep throat before. <laughs> And listening to some of my friends at work, apparently I've been lucky. 
because a couple of my friends there said they've caught mul they've caught shrimp throat multiple times. And one of the guys that I worked directly with told me that it was so bad for him one time that um, <clears throat> he was balled up on the floor uh, coughing blood. Coughing up blood. So, but yeah, all I had was the sore throat, the, um, you know, the um, inflamed area of my neck right here was visibly inflamed swollen and some serious headache but uh, I think that's about 90% gone at this point now I'm just dealing with the residual congestion and associated cough left over from last week so, uh, <clears throat> uh, the nature of the horror I don't know exactly we've seen the, the apparently as the description says you know, we're, we're in an alternate reality where I guess Nikola Tesla and um, Edison dominate science, I guess. That's fine. No worries, man. Eat. Eat. <coughs> and we're on a ship called the Helios, which is kind of, if you want to call it that, kind of like Rapture, if you will. But it's just a ship that has all of this technology, all of Tesla's inventions, all of this stuff. But they've discovered, I forget what they called it, but <coughs> they've discovered ways to, I guess, go to different dimensions, different times. And that's apparently why everybody's dead. Because these things, shadowy creatures, if you will, came from that other place and killed everybody or most everybody anyway we don't have any dead bodies here but there are plenty of them and there is plenty of blood but we've also seen they're kind of these uh, glowy glowing um, gold colored um, people moving about occasionally. We don't know who they are yet. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what it seems like at this point. We've I gotta only... follow, I gotta follow, I gotta follow. <laughs> Mom, get the camera. Thank you, Duck. Is it okay if I call you Ducks? Is that cool? Just let me know how you prefer to be called and I will call you exactly that. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the igloo. Ducks, ducks will work. And we actually came here looking for my character's sister. Her name is Ada, and we've spent like the last three hours <clears throat> trying to get to her apartment on the ship, and this is her apartment. So we finally found out where the apartment is. We finally found the key card to get in here. So I would imagine all hell is about to break loose. So let's find out together. <laughs> yeah, this is Ada's room, all right. Is this show Never for did my learn benefit? To clean her room Hello, what's up? I'm benefiting. How's it going? Welcome. Happy Friday. <coughs> Ooh, toys. Is that a dodecahedron? Is that the right name for that shape? See, there's another one. We've seen these things <clears throat> in a lot of places, too. I think that's like the fifth one that we found. I don't know what they are. I would guess that they're probably some kind of collectible associated with an achievement. But this version of the game that I have doesn't have achievements, at least not yet. I'm playing the PC version from the Epic Store. Oh, dude. 
a butt chewing at work. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good at all. <clears throat> oh hi. Water, right? Wind, wind. That would be the wind. The wind room is that what it was? Fire. Taming a new kind of fire to raise mankind beyond its material limitations. Oh, you always did dream big, Ada. Yes, being employed is, is definitely a good thing. I got let go from my previous job. Because I was a little too honest about some things that were happening <clears throat> with our team and the management of that team did not like that so they said see ya so yeah oh I haven't seen this picture in years we were just kids when did that end what that taught me hey Rose where are you I made it to your apartment and if we were to make it off the ship alive, I need stuff. to understand what's going on. For example, you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here. What does that even mean? My research is about exploiting loopholes in the flow of time. So a future me will write that letter and somehow send it back in time to get you here on the... Helios. Holy shit! And I think I know how! Listen, Rose, I need you to grab me some very important research. There's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it? You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. Biatch. What is this? Come on. Rotate. All those smarts, <coughs> you still got yourself mixed up in this mess. University of Karuna? Is that even a real place? A nomination of the Graduate Council of the Alpha Division have conferred upon Ada Archer, having demonstrated ability by original research in physics, the degree of doctor philosophy with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining given at Alpha the seventh day of October in the year 1883. Yeah, like I said, it made me realize a couple of things. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have three kids. They're all grown up now and out on their own, but... and I provide medical benefits and stuff for my kids, right? So when I got let go, I had to keep those benefits going, you know, because that's the responsible thing to do and all that. And I had to get Cobra for the kids until I found a new job. Oh my God, is Cobra freaking expensive. Holy shit. <clears throat> and plus, in addition to that, it made me realize how much having that... Uh, what do you want to call it? The, uh, yeah, Cobra is real bad. That doesn't even begin. Um, but it also made me realize, you know, the necessity of having that little nest egg of money set aside. You know, they say, what, three months of salary? How important that can be in situations like that. So... <clears throat> yeah. Okay, she said center stage. But... Yep. 
Yep, and that's when you realize how good you may have it, likely have it, <laughs> when you work for somebody else and they provide that for you, and you have to pay that little pittance every paycheck or every month <clears throat> to uh, pay your part of it. You don't realize how much of it they're actually covering until you see how much that stuff actually costs. Holy crap. Cobra is cheaper than... Obamacare? Okay, center stage. been references to a theater, but we haven't found a theater yet. We'll go down here by the statue and see. Somebody also mentioned in a note or something that we found about meeting in the garden, and I assume that this is the garden that they're talking about. <coughs> Man overboard! Suspected spy jumps into the Atlantic to avoid capture. Fleet of nearby ships assist in search and rescue operations. Suspect came aboard the Helios using a false identity, but was thwarted by security. <laughs> Wardenclyffe Port Office in Belfast on lockdown. Yeah. Edison denies espionage allegations. Accusations are merely circumstantial claims, Edison. We were in here before, I just didn't pick this up. Preparations for a countersuit is on the way. Warden Cliff declines to comment. Tesla absent as preliminary hearings commence into accusations of Edison. Edison. Not a river. Don't know what 
what the A plus T is. At least not yet. again too and whether or not she said whether Ada said it was let's go back up there she said it was hidden in her apartment clue was center stage Tab pay up hundred and forty seven dollars. Tommy the Tanby and this win magnificent Margaret Bald Harry Angry Alonzo Harry Harry. up that just rotate all right so we have to match up symbols these things wind
Okay. Great. I don't know what I did to get there, but I'm happy that I did. in this Sorry. <clears throat> Gotta figure out our orientation first.
don't know what I'm supposed to be matching here. If anybody has a clue, you are welcome to speak up. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know how I got two of them right before. I have no clue. At first, it seemed... that it was the ones on the top. So, I got that. The ones that match are the ones on the left. So, does that mean that the... the symbols on the left are in the right spot. Just gotta do the rest of them. This is fire, I think. moved again. <coughs> the pyramid was wind, right? The left one moved, right? All right, let's do this again. All right, eight sided. That one was the mountain. We're, we're going with the top. Okay. Eight sided one is the one that's in the other room. Or no, that's the six sided one. That, right? Yeah. That's the one that's in the other room. that are correct now. <clears throat> oh God, I wish she would stop doing that. It's irritating as hell. No, it's not right either. It 
Let's see, the 12. 12 is at the top, right? That one is the one that's by the door over here. That one. <coughs> and that's fire. Yeah, 12, 4, 8, and 20. Correct. But the symbol that matches the one at the top, which is the 12, is fire, right? Which is the one on the left on the right hand dial. The pyramid. <coughs> 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 That's what, that's what I'm trying to figure out is I don't know where they're supposed to match. Is it the top, the left, the outer two, the inner two? So the pyramid... ...is wind. Which is the way we have it. But I... Yeah, pyramids on the top, correct. And it matches with the one that's on the top now. <clears throat> right? Oh no, it's the wind. Wind, 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 wind. So the wind... That's a match for the pyramid, the two top ones. But that's not... That's not the position to match those. wind. Twelve-sided is fire. But we have no, we have no control over the one on the left. We can't move that one. But the one on the, no, you, no, the only, <clears throat> we can rotate this one as much as we like. And that's where we do when we think we've got them in the right position. We have no control over the one on the left at all. The one with the die. <coughs> if I hit it now? Well see that's the weird thing is if I if I hit it and it's not right Nothing seems to happen. All right, come on. There we go. But sometimes if I hit it again without... What was right? So it rotated once clockwise when I got it right. So if we back it up once, did we have a match anywhere? <clears throat> Let's see if we can do that. It wasn't. 
wasn't the pyramid. <clears throat> God, please, <coughs> please don't tell me I'm going to need a piece of paper to figure this out. <clears throat> what is the symbol on the 20? Water. that those two are in right now on the right hand side that is correct okay okay now we gotta go back over here to this guy get him I can't remember these. Fire. So we gotta get... Oh, it's in the right spot. If we're using the right hand position of both dials. That's it. The eight-sided eight-sided one is in here. That's the mountain. We put the mountain to the inside. But why when the when we got the first match, why did it rotate twice? That's the part that I don't understand. We had to hit the button twice. <coughs> to get it to lock in the first one. Vicatri! Come aboard the Helios. We'll get together. We'll have a few laughs. Ugh. No, no, no. I remember I asked. <laughs> you may not have been there when I said it, but I did ask. If anybody had any ideas, feel free so to speak up. This is <clears throat> it. This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time. Mm. I thought it would be thicker. How's it going? Pretty good. Although, I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well, you've got massless known vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine. I promise. But now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. Of course. It. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just going to go through the bio labs now and we'll... What the... Uh -oh. Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose, Hello? Rose, can you hear me? Ada. Oops! Ada. 
data. Piece of shit receiver. Anybody surprised by that? <laughs> <coughs> there you go, the one electron theory. The one electron theory reaches four sigma certainty. Helios research result alters the foundation of physics. Mathematical advances proved correct. This is a disaster, claimed multiple universities. Let me guess, we're going to get jumped when we get back out. You found the other half of the research. speak to my sister. I am afraid that won't be possible. As I am sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine, and for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Acha be opening containment doors all over this ship. The damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How is that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? <laughs> Coward. <laughs> yeah, hey, agreed. Ada. Are you okay? Agreed, Ada. misbehave. Hey, hi. Me again. Oh. It's you. Great. First I get trapped. Now this. Trapped? You too? Just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Find a good clean corner that isn't tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <coughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? He did ask My us that earlier. My situation is uh, <laughs> slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Sugar on top. Family first and mm. all that. But I've got family too, you know. And I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Okay, okay, deal. deal. Help me get to my sister, and <clears throat> we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's on. Excellent. So I need you to stand away from the locked up gate while I Sorry, so what sorry. Do you care? It's open. My bad. I 
station <clears throat> we have been everywhere in here oh there's another person who are you normally they run away your time has come it will be It's him! Maintaining cover while waiting instructions for the requested coordinated arrest. Oh, that must be uh, Jack the Ripper. I am. Holy shit. Shut, shut up, Aubrey. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I just saw a man get gutted by some nutcase with a knife. Oh no. That's not fake. Get me out of here. Where my sister is trapped. If she can't come to me, I'll go to her. Just get to the rail station gates. I'm at the gates. Get them open. Silently this time. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Of course, it's not the door that I'm at. Chapter. Who goes there? Stop! Alright, I guess this is the part where I was supposed to turn around and run. forward. Yeah, stab me in the back this time. <coughs> I know, right? I think the first ten times weren't enough. I don't think that was what I was supposed to do. Who goes with that? Stop! Last 
you are mine! No! This is all your fault! That's the end of the chapter. We'll go ahead and call it here. <coughs> We've only got about 10 minutes anyway, and there's no need to start another one. Start with the next one tomorrow. Four or five, I think. Four. The works of Daedalus. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start it. I don't know if we're going to get a checkpoint or what when we do. Hey. It's Aubrey. Anything from your sister yet? No. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, it's from the future. He be somewhat aware of what is. Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still? Alright. We'll take the chance. Yes, I am sure. Because <coughs> I don't want to get involved with something that's going to run me over. Because I need more medication. For my throat. So, I'm going to go do that. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. That is going to be it for the night, guys. Switch to the lobby screen real quick. Uh, let's see. I did make it through four hours tonight and still had to deal with the cough. Yes, better living through chemistry. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> four hours tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, assuming that I, you know, that the stuff that I'm dealing with hasn't got the best of me again. Uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow night, Eastern Time, for another four hours. I don't know how long the game is as far as the number of chapters goes. Um, I don't think it's that long, actually. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to guess maybe 8 to 10, probably, something like that. So, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Trombone. Thank you for coming out, and thanks for the help with the puzzle, by the way. I really appreciate that. Uh, Miss Behave put a YouTube link in chat. She also put a Discord link in there as well. You are welcome to join us in Discord. Uh, you are welcome to subscribe to me on YouTube. I've got some videos to upload. I'm a couple of nights behind. I have to upload the videos for my Sea of Solitude playthrough. Um, unfortunately, because I was sick, I didn't have the chance to do those. <clears throat> so I got to get those done. Um, bum, 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 bum. And before we sign off, um, this weekend... Misbehave is having a couple of charity streams for one up. Is it one up for cancer? I believe it's one up for cancer. Um, she's got donation, I guess, stretch goals. Give she's having giveaways. It's she's also doing a birthday thing as well. Um, <clears throat> but at Misbehave, I don't know if you want to say, uh, is, is your birthday actually this weekend or is it just coming up and this was a convenient time to? To celebrate it. But anyway, uh, I believe her nor she's going to be doing her normal times for her stream. She normally starts about 3 o'clock Eastern time. And <coughs> Saturday, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, come on out. Uh, I believe she's still playing through Horizon Zero Dawn. Is that correct? I'm Detroit Become Human is next. Oh, okay. 1 o'clock Eastern. Oh, I'm sorry. 1 o'clock Eastern. So two hours earlier than I thought. So some Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, Mass Effect. Damn it. Ugh. See? Sick brain. Sick brain. You have chemo brain. I have sick brain. Nothing's working. Anyway, so yes. 
one o'clock Saturday and Sunday. Like I said, she's got giveaways. She's going to have some links to download or uh, to donate to um, <coughs> One Up on Cancer. So if you could come out and support her and support those folks, that would be awesome. So anyway, let's see. Before we get out of here, one last thing. Let me see if there's anybody online right now that I can host or raid. Oh, wow. Zombie is on. Zombie is playing some Division 2, it looks like. We haven't raided her in a long time. So let's... Uh, Let's do that. Let's get that started. Oh my God, she changed her hair. And she's wearing a hat. All right, let's see. Let's get that started. Go back to my channel. You know, they could make this stuff a lot easier for us, but they really don't. And Misbehave has put some, uh, some text into chat. <clears throat> If you are a sub, take the output of the second, the subs only, and paste that into her channel. If you are not a sub, take the first. Everything after the colon. Stop by with me if you would, please, and say hi. I'm sure she would appreciate it. So anyway, that is going to be it for the night. Looks like the raid is ready to go. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 6. Thank you guys for coming out. Thanks, Alien King, for the resub. Thanks for the hosts. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me, even though I'm not 100% right now. Probably about 90, I would say. So I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Here is Zombie Killer. See you later.